Broadcasting live from the Vegas Video Network Studios, just steps from the Las Vegas Strip, it's Talk Tales! And now our host, she's our very own kaleidoscope of talent! What? It's Kelly Clinton! Welcome to Talk Tales on the Vegas Video Network. I am your host. My name is Kelly Clinton hyphen Holmes. Thank you very much. No one applauded. There's no one in the audience today. What? Or is there? Hello. <laughs> there they are. Welcome. We are so excited because we have a special guest today. In fact, before I tell you who it is, I want to practice the new catchphrase. <laughs> it goes like this. Vegas the show. Oh. Ready? Let's do it together. Okay. One, two, three. Vegas, Vegas the, the show. show. That's perfect. So that's a little hint <laughs> of who our guest is today. She is a dynamic dancer, a sensual singer. She is a dynamo, the star, the light of Vegas, Vegas the, the show. show. We have dancer, singer, actress, Tara Palsha, ladies and gentlemen, is here. <laughs> Tara's like, am I on? Am I on? Uh, Not uh, yet. Hold your horses. No, we're going to make it an event when it's time for you to come on. But before we meet Tara, I want to introduce you to some of the other folks that are part of Talk Tales, especially our Talk Tales Orchestra, Mr. Kenny Davidson. <laughs> Hi, Kenny. And I'd like to say hello and welcome back to our producer, director, Mr. Scott Whitney. Where are you, Scott? Are you there? there. Welcome home, son. I, just, I want you to know that I watched the show last week. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have a little chit-chat afterwards. Oh, no, no. I paid tribute to you. I honored you. It didn't, it didn't feel I, like that. No, no, no. I was saying we miss you, little one. Come little home. One. That's all I was saying. Little one. No, here's no. A, what I mean was, like your son, a, a, a family member, a loved one. Can we get to the exciting stuff that happened? And first of all, I know that you celebrated how many shows here on the Vegas Video well, Network? Well, we celebrated our two-year anniversary last week. Wow. Yeah, over 600 live shows. 600 yeah. live shows. Yeah. Well, that's quite the accomplishment, sir. Be very proud of yourself and all the folks that work here on the Vegas Video Network. Well, on behalf of the little one, we're all very happy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what? Clint and I couldn't make it. I'm so sorry. But we wanted to be here, but we were, we were actually performing at the Smith Center yeah. at a wedding for someone very special. Do you know Norm Clark from the Review Journal and not, his not beautiful personally. now wife, uh, Cara? I don't know Cara's maiden name because it doesn't matter anymore. Because now... <laughs> Well, maybe she's hyphenated, too. I think it's Kara Roberts Clark, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. And they had the most beautiful wedding at the Smith Center. It, and you know who uh, officiated the, the, almost said the menu. <laughs> 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 the wedding was uh, Oscar, uh, Mayor Oscar oh. Meyer. Good. <laughs> Good. Goodman. I am so sorry. I just had a, I am so sorry. I do know that. And I'm kidding, Mayor, wherever you are. But he was great. He was so entertaining. He was like Don Rickles officiating oh. the wedding. The people, the friends and family, you know, the bridesmaids and, and groomsmen got up to say something lovely about the couple. Scott, are you listening? Yes, no, I am. <laughs> Look, here's the deal. When you talk, nobody else can talk. Uh, is so there, a, be quiet and is and there a problem with that? No, no, no. <laughs> no. Is, is Clint here? Yes, he is. Does and Clint drink a lot? No. No, he's very happy. No. Anyway, he would say the same thing as I am right now. So... So the people all said their lovely uh, things, you know, got up and made their speeches before the ceremony. And he, after each one of them was done, he heckled them, basically. <laughs> he did. He says, well, that's what happens when you don't write your speech down. <laughs> oh, so, and then he said to the, the maid of honor, and we did uh, want everyone to speak, but you've taken up all the time, haven't you? <laughs> but it what Kara was absolutely gorgeous. She had a vintage veil on and... And uh, Norm looked great in his tuxedo, and everyone was there, and it was beautiful. And Clint sang, and I was a special guest in the show, and it was beautiful. So congratulations to that new, the newlyweds, Cara and Norm. Now, maybe that, they'll say something nice about your congratulations. <laughs> his thing, maybe you know somebody. You, you know what? I'm sure he watches the show every week. <laughs> no, he knows about the show. He wrote about the show, but 
let's get back to our special guest. Let's. Because I can't tell you how I am so impressed by her. She is so sexy and, and, and beautiful, and she's such a talented dancer, and now singing and everything. I tried to bring a clip from her show that she last performed, actually not Vegas the show, but with Bill Fain in Voices 3, and she did this beautiful dance routine. But copyrights and you know infringements uh, made it so we could not actually use the footage. So I, Kelly Clinton Holmes, will perform live a reenactment of Tara's routine. <laughs> She, she, there's nobody here. It's just you and me. Well, I, I hardly know. There's beauty by my side. I never forget. Kenny. Take her home, tonight. Kenny, please. <laughs> the lady in red. We'll be right back. <laughs> we'll be back <laughs> with the real Tara Pelsha. Oh. You know, one of the things I like best about the Vegas Video Network are the people. There are no divas here. Everyone is exactly the same off camera as they are on. Hey, Oz, what's uh, Cocktail of the Week this week? You know what? I'll let you know what it is when it's time for you to know what it is. Why don't you get off the stage and get back in your production hall? Oh, my God. You know what? And tell Cheap Ass Whitney to get us some decent brand liquor. This hobo off wrap crap ain't cutting it. God, idiots. Totally. Oh, we're back? Oh, sorry, sorry, I'm ready. I don't know how she does it. I can't breathe. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome my special guest, the lovely, the beautiful, the talented, Tara Paul Show! <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you are you. so gorgeous. And I, I'm, you know, I hope you, I hope you, Liked my rendition of you. Amazing. But don't let it get to you, sister. I'm going to have to steal some of those moves. You, did you say I can smell those moves? Steal. Oh, steal <laughs> some of I thought you smelled myself tanner. Anyway, listen. I am such a fan of yours. You have no idea. My husband, Clinton, and I went to your show, opening night, I believe, two years ago. And the show was phenomenal. And then you came out. And it was like I heard a gasp within the whole audience. <gasps> You just, you're so gorgeous. You were in a green dress. Your leg went, I think, behind your head, down, and through <laughs> to your other leg. You're a freak, and I love you. How do you do it? How do you do it? Were I, you just born with the magic? I, I was born with, with the, the ability. The ability. Know. Yes. In your crib, you were, like, climbing over. Well, yeah. I mean, my, my mom said, I came out, and my legs were, like, completely backwards which and they probably were, they scared her at first <laughs> right so she took me to the doctor and they wanted to put corrective <laughs> shoes on me are you whole, serious I'm right serious, now I'm, I'm serious i'm kidding no i'm serious they were like this way really and they couldn't afford the corrective shoes and all of that so she just let me go uh, and the next uh, thing you know i'm like you know in ballet class loving it and yeah, I mean, you, it was... You know, I did not expect that answer <laughs> just now. I'm I just sorry. thought she was going to say, I no. work out, I stretch a lot, you know, I'm limber. That's amazing. Yeah. So it's something that could have been a hindrance was, you know, the opening to your dream. And have you always danced since you were a little girl? Yes. I mean, my mother was an opera singer, so uh -huh. she put me on stage when I was about four. Singing first? No. Dan I mean, she put me in dance class, and I really took to that. So she kind of let me do the dancing thing while she did the singing thing. But she wasn't a dancer, though. She no, was not at all. So Opera. She, Opera so singer. Opera singer. And did she teach you? Uh, she tried to teach me. 
you weren't ready to receive that um, yet. It was it was rough. <laughs> so she put you in twenty dance classes. Yeah. And like I, tap? What what are I, some I of the I cried during tap and I was crying for ballet. So I was one of those weird weird kids. Crying from fear? I just didn't like it. Oh you I hated I, it. Yeah, I wanted to do ballet. It was yeah. So ballet was your favorite, mm -hmm. which is the hardest, right, of all the yes. dancing. It's the I most think disciplined, so. right? Right. But it, it's given me the base, you know, of uh -huh. your foundation. Through. Yes, my foundation. I don't, I don't know if you know this. This is about you, but I have to tell you. I studied at the London Royal Academy of Dance. Oh, my. Uh-huh, in Fort Lee, New Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's impressive. <laughs> And then I quit. But anyway, your story is a lot better than that. Now, you're from where? Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Ah. How, now, when did you move to Las Vegas? I've, it's going to be 10 years. I can't believe it that I've been really? here. Yeah, in March, I think, is my anniversary. Well, happy so, anniversary. Thanks. Early. Thank we'll you. have you back on the show, thanks. and we'll let you uh, get your reputation back by doing the dance yourself. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sounds good. So, you know, what's amazing is that I had never seen you before. I mean, that's not a big deal that I haven't seen you, but... You've been in many shows before yeah. Vegas the show, but that's where you really, really get the spotlight. Yeah. Have you been featured that much in the other shows that you no. were in? No, no. I mean, I started in the back of the chorus of Jubilee. Jubilee, you mm -hmm. were in Jubilee. Yeah, I was the tiniest girl in the shortest line. What is the <clears throat> height, height requirement? Five uh, eight, and I remember standing by the stick and just like <laughs> stretching my neck, <laughs> and they just let me in, like just by the skin of my. You're so I don't know. So you were in Jubilee, and <laughs> in then Jubilee. what was the next show? And then I ended up doing the vampire show, Bite. Bite. I opened that show, and that was my first little featured role. I was ah. the cat vampire. Were you scantily clad? Yeah. I've been, there, I've been very scantily clad most there, of my career oh. here in Vegas. <laughs> well, you know what we say here. Oh, I didn't make it up yet. We say, if you got it, flaunt it. Let's try it. If you got it, flaunt it. That was great. That was good. <laughs> no, I'm serious. If you can do that, you, you should do that. Yeah. I mean, is, it, is it intimidating? Be, I, I, in case you're just listening on the radio and you can't see this beautiful woman, she's absolutely gorgeous. And she's been in shows where sometimes you only have uh, a very small item of clothing on. It's called a... G-string. Okay. So, <laughs> I think I, everyone would leave if that were me. I promise you. But so, did, you, did it take a while to get used to? Or not? I kind of was ready for something, you know, to break away from the whole ballet, you know, bun, oh. bun head thing. And so, when I moved to Vegas, I was like, cut my hair short and I... Came a rebel. Like, just like, yeah, let's do this. Yeah. Kind of like a Catholic school kind kid of breaking gone out. Wrong. Yeah. Going wild. Yes. And I went wild for a little bit in well, shows and I was very naked. And and I'm happy to be covered now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you are absolutely yes. gorgeous. Thank you. No, so you moved here. I, I read an article about you because I did I did much research Ooh. on Tara Palsha. And I read an article that said you came to a show in Vegas. I don't know if you were just visiting or if you had already moved here and were working as a dancer, mm -hmm. but you came to a show and, and sat in the audience and saw someone doing exactly what you wanted to do up there. Yeah. What show was it? Yeah, it I was don't... Midnight Fantasy, oh. which happens to be a show that was choreographed by Tiger Martina, who choreographed Vegas yes. the show, believe it or not. That's ah. what's so weird about this story. Because I sat there and I, was, I just I studied her. You know, I ended up doing that show with her, uh -huh. and I was one of those kids that just would sit backstage and watch everything. But not like All About Eve where you wanted to no, kill her and I take would, her place. No, but I would take things that I saw from the principal dancers right. around town and I'm like, oh, I like that and I like that and I like that and I, you know, I put it in the back of my head kind of, I don't know if I knew that I was going to be heading in that direction or what, but well, I gathered information for many years. Well, see, that's the part of the story I liked the best was that you, you saw what you loved and and you vowed to yourself that you were going to get there yeah and be in that position and that you 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 said you manifested yeah. your life in your mm -hmm. situation yeah i manifested all kinds of things uh oh it's very strange <laughs> good good, good things. things good things like getting certain little featured spots and different little shows and uh -huh. and then eventually i mean life is so funny but 
you know, you have those couple people that come along and give you the chance to move to, to the next big right. step. And the first person that did that for me was Jerry Mitchell. Okay. Um, at Peep Show. Oh, yeah. see, that's, now you can't, you were in Peep Show right before this, Yes. Right? That was my big. That was your big break? Featured step out moment. Uh-huh. Yeah. How long were you in Peep Show? Uh, nine months for the first beginning parts of it until um, it went on hiatus. And then? And then I and then I, I left the show on my own. And okay. then four months later, I got a phone call from Tiger, and he said, are you oh. pregnant? Uh-oh. And I'm like, no. Why, because you were in the show nine <laughs> months? Because I wasn't in a show. Wait a minute. Because I wasn't in a show. OK. And, and then he said, I have something that might be interesting for you. And so it came full circle yeah. for you. With yeah. Yeah. So yeah, great. I know. Now, now um, you're, there's one question I know that we all, the studio audience probably wants to know. Um, and some, actually, there's two questions. One of them is, are you married? No. Everyone say, <laughs> oh. But what uh, some of the gentlemen in the audience would really love to say is, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, everyone's got a crush on me. Do you want me? What? But do you oh, want is that me? What? Not do you want me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I am married. Do you want to be married? Is what I, ask. I really heard, do you want me? Oh, I'm so sorry. Do, do you I want, want to be married? I... Do you want to? Let's, let's rephrase the question. <laughs> Let, do, do you want to? Well, first of all, maybe you have a boyfriend. No. Maybe you want, no. Do you want <laughs> do you to want be in a relationship? I, I, honestly, this is going to sound so cheesy, but I'm having a love affair with the stage. Right with the now. stage? That could be painful. It is, it's very painful, actually. <laughs> Which leads me to, I'm just exactly like Barbara Walters, aren't I? <laughs> I'm just like her, and you're crying now. Um, that my second question, well, I've had many questions, but I'm this. sweating. You know what? Do we have any, you, you know what? Use my shawl. It's the golden entertainer oh. shawl. And uh, do it seriously, I can throw it out or bring it to the cleaners. But listen. <laughs> um, seriously, it doesn't matter. Um, well, the other thing I wanted to ask you was, do you or have you ever partaken or de uh, delved into uh, food? <laughs> do you eat anything? Yes. Yeah. Well, no, it, it absol you absolutely look gorgeous and in shape, and, and I don't know how actually you dance your brains out. Yeah, so. three hours of cardio every single night, six days a week, and I'm on stage constantly. Yeah, you're And if I'm not on stage, I'm changing quickly. Yeah, so it's, yeah. Do you have people backstage changing oh, yeah. you? Changing. Yeah. Literally, I stand there and they put clothes on. How many people does it take to do that kind of a quick change? How, how I, short of the break is, is the change? I, I mean, I think my, my shortest one is like 30 seconds. What? Yeah. And these are big changes, too, Yeah, they're right? pretty ridiculous. It's pretty ridiculous. From a G-string to, uh, uh, what do you call those? Booty pasties. Shorts to pasties. Yeah. No, you wear some beautiful dresses. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah, so this show's very classy. It's nice. It is absolutely. I don't know if you've seen it, but I have seen it three times. I'm such a big fan. It's Aww. great. It's all about the history of Las Vegas, yeah. right? You know what? We have a, a live chat question. <gasps> Someone wants to ask Tara a question. What do we have, Scott? Yes, David wants to know if you need a changer. What? <laughs> David wants to know if you need a changer. A costume changer? Yeah. <laughs> you know, the backstage thing. Oh, he also wants to help with the pasties. No, I don't oh. know. Oh, oh okay. great. I love the live chat. Um, yeah. No we, and no. No and no. You have it Thanks here. So. But she did say thank you. So back to the uh, pizza question. Pizza. So you can eat anything you want is what we're saying here. Yeah, I mean, I don't really partake in sweets. I've never no. been like a sweet tooth. So, yeah. But, but pizza. Yeah. <laughs> I'm obsessed with pizza. Yeah. French fries? Uh-huh. Must be great to be you. <laughs> but you work two shows a night, Yeah, right? two shows a night. All right, I know we have a live question, but wait, we live chat question. Wait, I have something. Wait, I just lost it. I had it, and I lost it. All right, let's go to the live chat question. Who is it, and what would you like to know? Uh, this is me. When you first moved out here, <laughs> did you have a part-time job, a non-entertainment part-time job? Why, yes, I did. <laughs> Well, this is a great question. Well, that's right. Hooters. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait a minute. Dave's back. I worked 
Hooters. Hooters? Yes. So you mean your, your cocktail Yeah, I wore like and... a big, like, padded bra. <laughs> <laughs> and I slung you chicken wings. Boobies. I, yeah, like you know those those uh, yeah. blow up bras. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> the air filled ones. Oh no! Yeah. Where, where do you buy them? Not that I want to, but where are they? <laughs> and can you I just buy it. one? <laughs> <laughs> but the funny story about that is when um, I changed out of my Hooters costume uh -huh. and was leaving, and the guys that I was just waiting on, <laughs> they looked at me and they're like. What happened to her tits? Tits. Oh, you can't <laughs> say that. Oh no. What she meant was. I mean, um, what breasts. word kind of? Oh, is there a word? Titanic. Titanic. <laughs> what happened to her Titanic? Hey Tara, I'm oh, my to There's one other word you can't say. You didn't oh. tell me that. No, you're right. Her, it's not. It's, it's all my fault. Her, well, let's just move on quickly, and no one knows. <laughs> Here, I, 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 night after night. How many? Six nights a week. Six nights. A week. Vegas, the show. Yep. And. Uh, two shows every night or, or three nights a week, two shows? Two shows every single night. The show runs seven days a week. Two Are shows a night. It's never dark. That You do that, what I saw you do at Vegas, the show yeah. at Planet Hollywood in the David <laughs> Sachs Theater? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Twice a night? Are yeah. you kidding me? No, I'm not kidding you. Um, do you ever have some, you know, do you ever not feel well between shows and say, or really extremely tired? And say someone else has to go on. And I've never done that, but I've, I've felt that before. But you know what? <laughs> you saw what I could do. Yeah. <laughs> <You need it. laughs> yeah, yeah, is the response. Yeah. So to, to keep your body in shape, um, to be able to withstand all of that, I mean, you must really take good care of yourself. Hello? Is this thing on? <laughs> I guess I do. Well, we talked a little yeah. bit yesterday when I was saying ow at everything I did. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you, you said you, you, you regularly, it's easy for me to say, regularly take vitamins and yes. like for cal What do you do? What do you give well, us a I, secret? I, I take joint juice. I'm joint kind juice. of like 90 years old when you think about it. When no. You know, vitamins I take, but if I don't take them, I feel horrible. And then I, I drink a lot of alcohol at night. That helps. Oh, that's great. Look, you know what? We have some alcohol right here. I forgot to tell you yeah. that there, there's wine here. It's, it's called Talk Tales, and it's kind of a, you know, a talk show slash cocktails. But I keep forgetting to drink. So you do partake in a little. Yeah, it's, it's, it, it's my muscle relaxer. See, now See that. what I mean? The, for the kids listening at home. <laughs> Don't do this. Yeah, don't. It's terrible. Are you friends with a lot of the people in the cast? Just say yes quickly. Yes. Of course you are. Yeah. Well, it's like being brothers and sisters, yeah, no. right? You're around each other yeah. all the time. You're, you're close. You're there for each other. It's like you're in a war together when you're doing two shows. It is. Night. It is like a war. Do you cover for each other when, when things, you know, Absolutely. St stuff happens in Absolutely. the show? Like if, my, if my understudy's sick. Then I will work extra days. Right. You know? So you'll work the seven all the way through, which uh, is some 14 shows. I've done more than that. What? I, I actually did a 20-day stretch once. Oh, so I've done 40 goodness. Shows. Yeah. Are you at home under ice packs and, and yeah? Yeah. And heating pads? Yep. But you're just like, <laughs> look at the way you sit. It's so ballerina. You never, she's never relaxed completely. I noticed this yesterday. I mean, she is, but it's her way now. You point your toe. At all times. When you were standing yesterday, you came to the Smith Center and saw Clint's show yesterday. Yes. And uh, with fabulous. our friend Bill Fain. Fabulous. And, and I noticed when we were standing in the lobby, I follow, you know, she's like a big, long, tall drink of water. <laughs> and I followed down all the way to your pointing toes. Is that something you do all the time and you're not conscious of it? I don't think I'm conscious of it. No? No. Are these good questions I'm asking? These are great questions. I just don't, I don't, I don't think I can relax. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's that. Because I'm in it all the time. It's like when you see ballerinas, they're always like turned out and walking weird. And it's because they're in it all the time, you know? Yeah, it's like, and ballet is tough. That's what you yeah. got then, huh? Yeah. What was your teacher's name? Do you remember your first ballet teacher? No. And uh, we'll be back with a live question. No, we do have a live chat question. And who, who is it, and what would you like to know? Uh, some fellow named Clint. Clint. Uh, that rings know, a bell. Uh, have you done any singing before? Ha. I actually have. See, everyone knows you as a dancer, but yes. you're a really great singer. Tell yes. us about 
your recent singing debut. Like I was saying, these people that kind of come into your life and give you opportunities, I just recently had another one of those come into my life, Mr. Bill Fain. I know Bill Fain. Yeah. He's our very good <laughs> friend and musical director, performer, singer, and he's here to support you today. So Yay. so what happened? You got you, you became friends? Yeah, well, he, he just randomly asked me if I sing. And was I, he stalking you outside of your home because <laughs> he's a fan, or did you just run into him? No, he, he has come to see Vegas' to show quite a few times. Uh-huh, like and I said, stalking, go on. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, yeah, he just, just simply asked me if I sing, and I, and I think my response was, well, I would like to. But no one really knows that you are a trained vocalist. Correct, all right? yes. Your mom taught you? My mom did teach me, and then when that was not going very well, she gave me to her, her voice teacher. <laughs> so, yeah. Was, Not going well because moms and daughters. Yeah, I'm like, don't, why are yeah, you making like, me do this dumb stuff? Stupid. You know? Mom. I look dumb. It's stupid. <laughs> I don't want to. So she let someone else beat me But up. you were different when you were with the teacher. Right? Yes, I was. Okay, so you so, sang. You yeah. sang in Bill's show. Yes. And everyone went wild. This was at the Sun Coast. There were two performed, two different yes. shows. Mm -hmm. and, and you came out and you did what number? I, I, Bewitched. Bothered and bewildered. bewildered. Yes. And then Ten Cents a Dance was the other one that I did. And then you did another show, which I didn't I did get to see, show. but and I then, reenacted. Um, Teach Me Tonight, I sang, uh -huh. and we did uh, Lady in Red. I danced that. Now, will you sing for us today? Sure. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> star of Vegas, show, Tara Paul Show. <laughs> Many millions of Toms and Dicks and Williams would be to capture me. But you had such persistence, you wore down my resistance. I fell, and it was so well. You're my big and brave and handsome Romeo. How I want you, I'll never, never know. It's not that you're attractive, but oh, my heart grew active when you came into view. I've got a crush on you. Sweetie pie, all the day and night time, hear me sigh, I've never had the least notion that I could fall with so much emotion, could you coo? Could you care for a cunning cottage? We could share the world. We'll pardon my mush, cause I have got a crush, my baby, on you. Oh, so beautiful. So gorgeous. Thank Any you. upcoming shows that we need to know about? Um, Showstoppers, November 16th. Showstoppers, November 16th. At the LVH. At the LVH with Bill okay. Fain. Aren't I involved in that, Billy? <laughs> I'm co-hosting, so we'll get to do our thing. Thank you so much Thank for being for our me. guest on, what's the name of the show? Talk, oh. Talk Tales. <laughs> I've got a crush on you, tear apart. <laughs> I feel like I found my long lost sister, and now I won't die. You never called me over the years because you didn't know what rhymes with that. That I was fierce. Was fierce. Hit it, Tara. 